What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back now for episode 5 of the Diamond Heights Let's Play series. In the last episode, we built the Junior Roller Coaster right here, and I did receive a good name for this in the comments. That was um, Caterpillar Castaway by a subscriber named Datboy69. And then I also received another good name um, for the Wooden Roller Coaster, Hylophobia by Labyrinthian. So thanks for those guys. Um, now we've got those named. And today we're going to be building a few more rides. Okay. Um, checking out the park value, we're sitting at almost 250,000. Got to get that up to 300,000 by the end of year three. So we seem to be in pretty good shape here. Um, we did receive an observation tower at the end of the last episode. So I want to throw one of these in here while we wait for our next roller coaster um, to be researched. Because right now um, we talked about it a lot at length in the last episode about the park value and the things um, that go into affecting that. So I don't want to build too many roller coasters of the same type because that affects the park value negatively. I mentioned this before, but the hardest thing about Time and Heights is probably just finding places to put new rides. I've been avoiding putting a ride in this spot, but I think the Observation Tower is actually a good candidate for this because it's so thin. And so it'll fit in here pretty well. The only downside about this spot is you can't really put in a long queue line. But since it's a gentle ride, um, I think it'll be okay. So, there you go. The observation tower's in there. We'll wait for that to get its uh, excitement ratings available. And then we will price it. And as we do this, we see that our next roller coaster has been researched. Uh, 2.8 excitement rating for this observation tower. So let's adjust the price accordingly. We'll open it up. And then... Now we're going to start building a wooden uh, wooden wild mouse. Now, I had this thought, um, because this park does have a wooden wild mine ride. Okay, it's called Doppelganger. And I don't know if, you know, technically these are two separate roller coaster types, right? This is the wooden wild mouse, that's the wooden wild mine ride. So hopefully, um, I mean, even though the... The, uh, the roller coasters are pretty much identical in every way. Um, hopefully, this will consider it two different types of roller coasters. If not, we could be hurting the park value. And I guess we'll just find out um, after we build the ride. So, just like everywhere else, I'm kind of looking around for a good spot to build this. I've actually, actually, what I'm doing right now is looking around for construction rights and land for sale, which there isn't any in Diamond Heights. So we just got to find a spot to put this thing. I, I don't really want to put it in the water yet. I want to save that for something else. I don't know what exactly. Um, so right now I'm just scoping out a spot to put this thing. And this is where I think I'm going to land. Um, we're going to have to lower some land in order to do this. But let's put the next roller coaster right here. It's going to be, you know, tightly spaced, so it should fit just fine. And so let's start building this thing. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is lower the land right here. I, I, I lower two spaces because we need to put in the station platform, and we I'm also accounting for the, part, the uh, right entrance and the right exit. So that's why I lowered two pieces of land. The nice thing about the wooden wild mouse is that you can go into a very steep uh, chain lift. So that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building this thing. Go ahead and just watch me build it. And uh, we have to make... A lot less adjustments to the land than I thought we would in this roller coaster, but um, let's go ahead and just watch it.
So right here is where I do run into the problem of the land being in the way. So I just lower it and make a nice cave for the uh, roller coaster to go through. Do have to hide the scenery in order to kind of see what you're doing here. Then we'll have to adjust the land when we come back out as well. And at this point, I get a notification that guests are complaining about the, the state of the paths. Um, you know, too much puke. So I'm just going to hire a bunch more handymen uh, to prevent the park value or the park rating from going down. So that's what I did right there. So just a quick break from the roller coaster. Let's get back to it. We're going to be finishing this thing up uh, pretty soon here. And if you look at this thing, it's very compact. Um, I definitely made the most of all the space that we had right here, which is good. Uh, this roller coaster is turning out really well for you know the space that we had for it. I am liking it quite a bit. All right, guys, there it is. So let's uh, put in the entrance and exit and let's test it. And now we'll go ahead and switch back to real time and we'll watch this thing test. moving a little slow but I actually like that you know there's no danger of, um, of it being too intense when it's moving as slowly as it is so not a very long station platform that's the only problem with this um, but I think I think it's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll wait and see what the excitement rating and the intensity rating for this thing are. Now again, I'm uh, I'm gonna wait for some name suggestions in the comments because I have no idea what to name this thing. But um, here we go. Uh, 7.47 excitement rating, so we'll do a $7.50 admission price. Alright, so let's just zoom through putting in the uh, pathways that we need to here, and then we'll start wrapping this episode up. 
Also do some advertising campaigns to make sure that plenty of guests are coming in the park that will help out the park rating. Last thing I'm going to do here is, and I can't believe I haven't done this already, I'm going to go through the park and change the inspection times to 10 minutes on all the roller coaster or roller coaster ish rides. Um, if you guys watch any of my other Let's Play series, you know I do this for all my roller coasters because I want to keep them up and running as much as possible. Uh, they're making the most money in the park, they're doing the most work, so you want them running as smoothly as possible. So, you know, the more time that they have inspection, uh, the less likely they, they are to break down. And so, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Um, so, there we go. I think we've done all of them in the park. Alright, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, still waiting on some more roller coasters to research. Hopefully, they'll just kind of naturally come as we, uh, as we continue to do episodes. But... Yeah, guys, this is, um, it's moving along, and hopefully we'll reach our goal by year three. If we don't, that would be pretty embarrassing for me, because I'm filming the whole thing. <laughs> okay, guys, um, please, uh, like the video if you did like it, uh, comment, and subscribe, let me know what you thought, and get me a name for this roller coaster. See you in the next one.